Hi everyone, greetings from the Kristu Jayanti LMS team. This video tutorial covers the process and the configuration for assignment submission of CIE component. This video tutorial has got three parts. In the first part, we will be covering the configuration and settings for assignment submission through the LMS. Second part of the video tutorial, we would be covering the instructions and the guidelines the course teacher needs to provide to the students. Third part of the video tutorial is the steps in order to carry out the evaluation of the submitted assignments. This video tutorial has been divided into YouTube chapters. You may refer to the description box for further details. Please remember the Assignments as instructed by the COE has to be handwritten, scanned using a mobile app like Tab Scanner or Microsoft Lens, converted into PDF format, uploaded in the LMS, and the course teacher needs to carry out the evaluation and enter the marks into TCS. Hope this video tutorial would be useful to all of you. This part of the video tutorial, we would be covering the assignment configuration within the LMS. Please remember, the course teacher is expected to carry out the collection of the assignment from the student with the help of LMS. The course teacher can announce the details of the assignment in the class. The student is expected to write the assignment onto A4 size papers, scan it using mobile apps, convert into PDF, and upload and submit the same to the course teacher for evaluation with the help of LMS. Let me walk you through the steps to carry out the configuration uh, for the assignment submission. The course teacher can navigate to the corresponding course, turn editing on, identify a suitable topic depending on the time frame of the assignment schedule. Once the teacher has identified a suitable topic, Click on Add an Activity, navigate to Assignment Activity and then say Add. A new window would open up and this is the place where the teacher is expected to give a name for the assignment. In the description box, the teacher can give the details or specifics of the assignment. Just in case, if the details or the specifics are too lengthy in nature, the course teacher may upload the same as PDF. To upload the assignment question as a PDF, the teacher can type it in Word, convert into PDF and come to additional files, click over here, upload file, choose file, navigate to the location, select, open and then click on upload this file. So the question would get uploaded in the assignment activity. Following this, the course teacher has to ensure certain settings are enabled. The first is availability. Here, allow submission from. That would be the start date of the assignment. Due date would be the last date given by COE for student submission. Cutoff date would also be the last date given to the student for assignment submission. The course teacher could enable a reminder regarding the assignment valuation. This could be set maybe a day or two after the last date for student submission. You could also select Allah always show description. Following this, under submission types, you have to ensure file submissions are enabled. Maximum number of files, Let's change this to one. By default, uh, the maximum submission site size would be 2 MB. Accepted file types, you can click on choose, navigate to document, click on expand, select PDF and then say save changes. Then feedback types, please uncheck feedback comments, unnote PDF and enable offline grading. Submission settings, you have to ensure Require students to click on submission button, change this to yes. Require that students accept the submission statement, change this to yes. Attempts reopened, make sure this is at never. 
group submission please ensure this is at no notification please ensure that notify grade is about submission this is no notify grade is about late submission this is also no default settings for notify students please make sure that you change this to no then navigate to grade over here maximum grade you can set this based on the credits of your course so for example if it's three credit it has to be five marks four credits it has to be 10 marks to be on a safer side you could get a clarification regarding the credits and the assignment marks from the coe's office for time being i'm setting this as 10. then under common module settings make sure show on course page is enabled restrict access no configurations are required over here activity completion uh, completion tracking please make sure that you change this to show activity as complete when conditions are met here you have to ensure there's a tick mark placed on student must view this activity to complete there's a check mark over here and student must submit to this activity to complete it here expected completion date you can enable this and this has to be the last date for the assignment submission given by the coe's office for students this would have to correspond with uh, the due date and the cutoff date so i'm just going to change this to 14th of october and save and return to course following this my activity is updated in the lms and it is good uh, to go and you would also see that it has been assigned to the students and it is ready for uh, assignment submission this part of the video tutorial we would be covering the instructions that the course teacher can provide to the students depending on the schedule of the assignment the course teacher can announce the details of the assignment in the class please remember handwritten assignments is what is expected from the students once the handwritten assignment is ready using mobile applications such as tab scanner office lens the student can convert the handwritten assignment into PDF. Once the PDF of the assignment is ready, it can be uploaded to the LMS for valuation by the course teacher. Once the handwritten assignment is ready, the student could use mobile applications such as Office Lens or Tab Scanner. Using these mobile apps, the handwritten assignment could be converted into PDF. While scanning, the student has to ensure the images are cropped appropriately. Also, while converting, the student has to ensure the total file size is less than 2 MB. Just in case, if the file size exceeds 2 MB, the student may not be able to upload the assignment on the LMS. The PDF can be saved with an appropriate name. Once this has been done, the assignment is ready for submission on LMS. Once the PDF copy of the assignment is ready, it could be uploaded into LMS. For this, the student will have to log into their respective LMS account, navigate to the course for which the assignment submission has to be carried out, click on it, identify the assignment submission activity, click on it. Notice over here, the details of the assignment, the question that is provided by the course teacher would be visible to the student. Just in case, if the question is provided to the student in the form of an attachment, the student would be able to click on the question and that would be visible to the student as a download. The details regarding the submission would also be available to the student on this particular page. In order to submit the assignment, the student will have to click on Add Submission, identify and navigate to the location of the assignment, click on Upload File, choose the file, upload this file, save changes, and then Submit assignment. Please remember 
only if the student clicks on submit assignment the assignment would be available to the course teacher for valuation the student would also have to give a verification to confirm the assignment is an authentic work now the assignment has been submitted to the concerned course teacher for evaluation this part of the video tutorial we would be covering the evaluation process that can be followed by the course teacher in order to evaluate the submitted assignments please remember the course teacher is expected to carry out an offline evaluation for this the course teacher must navigate to the assignment activity over here the course teacher would get a summary regarding the submissions so participants would be the total number of students that are assigned to the teacher for this particular course submitted would refer to the number of students who have carried out the submission needs grading refers to the number of assignments that needs to be evaluated following this the teacher can click on view all submissions navigate to grading action from the choose drop down click on download all submissions what lms would do now is convert all the assignment submissions into a zip folder and download onto the course teacher's desktop following this the course teacher can also download the grade worksheet the grading worksheet would help the course teacher enter the marks following this the teacher can navigate to the downloads folder extract the zip file once the files have completed zipping the teacher would be able to see the assignments one by one go back to the grade worksheet and update the marks once the grading process is complete the teacher can go back to the lms grading action from here click on upload grading worksheet the location of the grade sheet must be selected and then click on upload this file please remember this activity has to be done once the evaluation is completed this would ensure that a backup of the marks would be saved onto the lms post this the teacher is expected to enter the marks onto tcs as well once the schedule of the assignments is completed and the teacher has successfully completed the evaluation process and the mark entry the course teacher is expected to take a backup of all the assignments that are submitted along with the workbook in future if the students were to come down for any grievous addressal the backup would help the teacher i hope all of you found this video tutorial helpful thank you